What's going on, fighting fans? This is Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Rob Jarrell, and this is my initial reaction to the Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G rematch that just happened on HBO pay per view. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get to it. Um, the fight ended in a majority decision for Canelo Alvarez. Uh, the scores were 115, 113 two times, and 114 draw on one of the scorecards. So, it looks like Canelo was the first official person to give Triple G uh, his first loss in his career. Uh, what we were treated to was a really good fight, very action-packed. The pace was pushed constantly. Um, you saw the tactic a little bit different in Canelo, who seemed to, again, like we said, get off first, establish his jab, and beat um, Triple G to the punch. But as you see the fight wear on, uh, Triple G started to come on, fight with more urgency, and step forward. What I saw that was a little bit different was that Triple G was turning to the counterpuncher, uh, for much of the fight, kind of moving backwards and not pushing and being the more aggressive one during the fight. You actually saw Canelo move forward, excuse me, much more than Triple G would. And he actually seemed to have a much better, um, a much better and more educated jab and was started off much faster in the fight, which he banked a lot of early rounds in my opinion, but I had Triple G coming on. Uh, I looked at some of the scorecards and some of the scores. They gave Canelo a lot of the middle rounds, which I actually didn't expect. Uh, but Triple G, as a fight warrant, you can start seeing him land those really big, showy punches. And I would say in the last three rounds, he actually hurt Canelo maybe two or three times with a right hand and a right uppercut, which is something that we should have um, looked out for. But uh, Triple G, fighting at range, to me, backing up, did not work in his favor. I think when he's much more the aggressor, even dealing with um, Canelo's counterpunching and his hand speed would have worked better for him. Um, but I would think that he didn't want to smother his own his own work rate, his own work on the inside. So he would shoot from the outside. And you can see at times that he wasn't uncomfortable, but that you can see that he was missing similar to the first fight, and I'm going to say this, um, I didn't notice this, I don't think Hakeem noticed this, but we looked at a picture of the way in where Triple, where Triple G just looked drained and dry, and then uh, there was a video circul circulating around with Canelo where he actually fainted or collapsed um, after the way in so I don't think either one of these guys trained that well for this fight, or they were conditioned, but they just didn't look that great in the weight cut. Um, Triple G, you can see it in his face. And with Canelo, you can see he's smaller. Um, and he looked a little bit worse for wear. He actually looked like he was tiring. Both guys were tiring by about the fifth or sixth round. Uh, Triple G was just did a better job of turning it on and uh, trying to fight back and um, win those later rounds. So, again, we got a great fight. It was action-packed. Um, both guys uh, kept the pace up. Um, we also had that... Uh, Jamie Mungia uh, fought well. He knocked out Brandon Cook. Chocolatito is back in the winning column uh, when he knocked out Moises Fuentes. And um, there was one more fight. And oh, and David Lemieux is back in the win column as he knocked out Gary O'Sullivan in the first round. So that was interesting to say the least. Uh, Hakeem and I, or Hakeem. One of us will bring you the recap. I don't think we're going to be able to get together this week, but we're going to bring you the full recap after we both watch the fight over again, try to break it down, and talk about what has happened in this fight. Hopefully, we get a third fight. Uh, looks like we are going to get a third fight. Uh, Triple G did not stick around for the post-fight interview, but a third fight is definitely in the cards because we had a draw. We had a very controversial, in my opinion. I thought Triple G won, but that's why I'm not a Las Vegas judge. And um, and Triple G is definitely going to want a rematch, especially with a lot of the middleweight guys still waiting. You still have Billy Joe Saunders, Danny Jacobs is going to fight, Sergey Derebrachenko. De uh, you have the Charlo brothers. So until this matter is concluded, 
then we can't move on to them fighting any of the other guys because the middleweight division is starting to get a little crowded. You have Andre that moved up. You have the Charlo brothers. You have Billy Joe Son is still hanging around. You have Ryota Murata. You have Danny Jacobs. You have Sergei Derevchenko. So it's actually starting to be a very entertaining division. Tell us what you think. Who do you think win? Would you have given it to Triple G or do you support the decision to give the fight to Canelo Alvarez? Well, I'm sorry, that he earned the win, um, that Canelo Alvarez earned the win. Do you think they should run it back? Um, again, leave a comment down below. Uh, hit us up on Facebook at Capital Combat, Instagram at Capital Combat, Twitter at Capital Combat. We don't have Snapchat. Email us at CapitalCombat at gmail.com, and we'll see you in the recap on the next video. Until next time, fight on. This is round one, and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming.